Alrighty, Leos, this is going to be your reading for February 25th through March 4th, I believe, right? I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Leos. If you'd like to get a personal reading, all of my information will be in the description box for you to check out. My website is www.mysticalcrystals.com. Everything that you need to reach out to me or for my other channels and my Patreon will be listed in the description box for you guys, okay? for february 25th through march 4th okay so let's go ahead and get into this guys wow okay so if you guys were in this space of not really knowing what to do mentally kind of being in this woe is me mode not outright like some of you guys weren't literally out in the world acting that way but some of you guys were, okay, literally in the space of like, okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to, what steps to take moving forward type of thing. You guys are coming out of that this week. Definitely coming out of that space. Um, getting to a better place. And I feel like you are going to be showing up for yourself, okay? I feel as if also, if you are a Leo who is in a relationship, your partner may be actually helping you pick yourself up, or they may be uplifting you in some sort of way, letting you know who you are as a person and what you bring to the table. And you may be snapping out of it, especially if you were in a weird funk for a while. Some of you guys are literally probably like reuniting with someone as well. That's not for everyone. There is someone who is trying to come in. For some of you guys, this is somebody who you caught cheating on you before. For others of you, this person may be trying to catch yeah. <laughs> this person may be trying to catch you now, like trying to. I don't want to make that sound like you're a fish or something and like you're you're being caught, but this person may be trying to catch your attention. Okay, but for some of you guys, there's other people attached to it. So you want to make sure that this person's being faithful. But everything that you guys want this week, you shall receive if you put that thought out there that you want to manifest some new energy. Okay, if you put your vibration in the right place, I'm telling you... It, <laughs> The things that you can manifest this week, all right? You also feel like, or you also feel like, you also need to make sure that you are showing up for yourself. Um, some of you guys may be, like I said, having to really stand your guard for yourself. Whether that's like outside people messing with you or just feeling like you have to stand your ground, claim your, your territory. Some of you guys could also be hmm, taking this very competitive stance like with whatever career path you're going towards all right that's not every one of you guys but you may be like now stepping into the space of like knowing what you bring to the table and like maybe you know feeling yourself about it like okay well I know what I bring to the table so I'm not worried what people have to say type of thing Alrighty, so moving forward here, um, and just in case anybody is unaware, this is just a general message. The first part was just some intuitive messages. If it didn't resonate, I would just continue watching to see if the rest of the reading will. But the cards that I pulled from my affirmations deck, the first card that I have, it says, my thoughts are healthy, okay? It says, therefore I am. And it reads, think of yourself as a healthy being at all times, work towards an improved quality of life. Be actively taking the steps to incorporate healthy eating, physical activity, and mental health maintenance practices. You can balance your physical and psychological well-being. 
okay and we also have the universe is my biggest fan all right and we have the 11 right here so this is all about portaling new energy in okay and this card says the universe wants to see you win and is supporting you every step of the way the vibrations you emit will be reflected back you must possess an inner knowing that the universe has your back and will support your wildest dreams so like what i basically said before the universe is supporting you it's just a matter of understanding that the universe is in favor of you not against you you know it may seem that way because things don't go the way that you want it to but it's for you to kind of understand what path you're being pulled to like we may want something to be done this way but there may be a different route to kind of get to that if that makes sense Okay, and then the last card I want you guys to really see, it says, my intuition is the perfect guide. It says, trust your gut. There is nothing more reliable than your natural instincts and intuition. Open your third eye and allow it to lead you through your day and in decision making. You are being divinely guided. So understanding every step, every step that you're taking is divinely guided. Like I was trying to explain to you guys, everything that you guys do it's a nudge from the universe trying to push you in that direction. So let's go ahead and do a spread to see what's going on with you guys for this week. What is going on, my Leos, for February 25th through March 4th, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Leos for February 25th through March 4th okay so four of cups flew out so the four of cups is my like dissatisfied but not doing anything about it card so some of you guys that's how the energy is for you guys coming into this week most likely for some of you guys that's just maybe how you're feeling when it comes to your love life let's see what this spreads looking like for my Leo's All right, so energy coming into this week for my Leos, last week's energy for my Leos, the guidance, the focus, and the outcome. So the Four of Cups came out again. All right, bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Pentacles, putting in that work, like I said, making sure that you guys are showing up for yourself when it comes to your work life, um, rebuilding some things that you're not too proud of as well yeah king of swords queen of swords really facing the truth of the matter you may be also in a space of dealing with a partner and you right, also so going into this week you guys are showing up as the page of swords so clarifying the page of swords we do have the moon card okay so some of you guys you may be in a space of trying to find out more information when it comes to your spouse that you're dealing with this may be an air sign a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For others of you, it's just like there may be petty back and forth as far as like communication wise um, due to the fact that, I don't know, somebody's wanting to be petty here. And then with the moon card, this is like somebody having unfounded fear or some sort of secrets being kept here. All right, but some of you guys, you may be... Coming into this week, engaging in petty communication and really just having to leave somebody out who you're really unsure about. And with the five of swords energy at the bottom of the deck, this is like walking away from dishonest relationships, associations, especially if there's mind games attached to it. Um, or like people doing like underhanded things behind other people's back. OK, and having to make a head over heart decision about that, especially if you do care about this person. This may be a Gemini as well. But what I am seeing for the past energy, we do have the Nine of Cups. Clarifying the Nine of Cups, we do have the Six of Swords. So in the past, I feel as if you did get a sense of wish fulfillment from moving to a calmer place with someone that you were dealing with. You may have had an opportunity to heal a connection here with the star card at the bottom of the deck. Um, but I feel like you were able to move to a calmer place within your relationship with who you were dating, especially if it was a Gemini um, or anybody. Doesn't matter the sign. But what I am seeing for the guidance for this week, guys, I do have the Queen 
of cups clarified by the magician card so if you are dealing with a water sign i feel as if there is a chance for you guys to get a connection going with this person or if you're dealing with an aries um but i feel like you do need to make sure that you're expressing how you feel so that you can manifest also beyond love making sure that you guys are tending to your emotional well-being expressing your emotions letting it out if you are feeling some way so that you guys can go ahead and manifest and understand that you guys have the tools necessary to change your circumstances and what i am seeing for the focus for this week we do have the queen of wands energy clarified by the knight of wands so the focus for this week is you guys or it could be another fire sign here but i definitely feel as if it is focusing on yourself this week and you may be having some hot and cold energy when it comes to some activities that you want to go ahead and take charge of maybe like a creative project some of you guys could just be feeling hot and cold when it comes to your relationship this week yeah with the two of cups and what's going to be important is emotional balance here and with the three of swords you may be feeling a little hurt this week when it comes to your love life Guys, I don't know why everybody continues to call me whenever I'm doing these readings, but let's go ahead and continue. Uh, the last card we have here for the outcome of this week, we do, we do have the Four of Cups. So clarifying the Four of Cups, I do have the Queen of Cups energy. So the outcome of this week, I feel like you are going to be in a space of looking at all the things that you're dissatisfied with. But what you do need to do, what you do need to make sure that you are taking in consideration is what the universe is trying to offer you in place of that. And I feel as if you guys, <laughs> all you have to do is confront your emotions about what you're not happy about and just change it, honestly, guys. It requires you guys to be hopeful this week. So this week, make sure you guys are being hopeful for some changes that you guys are wanting. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher. What is going on with my Libra's cross watcher partner person in question for February 25th through March 4th? going on with my leo's cross watcher okay so some of you guys you're dealing with a sagittarius or you're dealing with air sign fire sign whoever doesn't matter the sign okay i feel like a cycle here for this person is coming to a completion um they're having to gain balance here after dealing with a lot for some time i feel as if they did have a lot of baggage for a while and they're kind of at their wits end in every sense okay i feel as if this person does have a lot of anxiety as well when it comes to this relationship And they're taking some time to themselves. Like they feel as if they're unhappy right now. They may revisit this in the future, but they really want to move to a better mental space first. Okay. Um, if you're dealing with the Aries, they're focused more on money. And if you are dealing with the Earth sign, this person is trying to go in a new direction, but they can't get you off their mind. Okay. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this person is slowly going to try to come towards you. But right now, they're not looking at the situation in the right perspective. But that's what I'm seeing for you guys for this week. I hope that I was able to provide some sort of clarity or understanding of what's going on. And I wish you guys the best of luck for this week. Again, if you do want a personal reading, that information will be in the description box for you to find. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Leos.